We have a question from Kerry Adams in Auckland, New Zealand in regards to his 675. He wants to know, how do I set sag using progressive springs and how do I tune suspension for brake dive? Okay, Kerry. So in regards to your question, progressive springs, what are they? Well, they're extremely soft initially. And then as the spring goes through the stroke, it stiffens up. So setting sag will be just the same as you would do it with a linear spring. Why? Well, the bike has an extended length in terms of fork and shock. It also will collapse to a certain region under the bike's own weight for static or free sag. And then with you on board, you'll get another measurement. Now think of it this way. The bike under its own weight will actually drop a little more because of a progressive spring because it's soft at the top of the stroke. But when you sit in on the bike, you're putting more energy and weight into the bike. It will resist more. So therefore, I would start with regular sag numbers of, say, an inch and a half in the rear and an inch and a half to two inches in the front and set that as your ballpark starting point. Remember, SAG is not a fixed number. It's entirely up to the individual themselves as to where the bike ends up. So I will go through the process in exactly the normal way that you would. The good part about this is then you're talking about tuning into brake dive. So your SAG is set, now what do you do? The interesting thing with this is you will take in this case with your 675 a 14 millimeter <coughs> excuse me a 14 millimeter socket and ratchet or a combination wrench and go ride a piece of road you know very well all you are looking for when you're tuning for brake dive is when you initially apply the front brakes how much do you feel the front end collapse so the best thing for you to do once you set sag is that gives you a starting point then go one and a half turns at a time, adding preload. But as we are the variable, we need to brake at the same speed, in the same place, with the same amount of braking force initially to create that brake dive. If our input into the brake lever is variable, the test is worthless. So you need to be really focused on what you're doing to tune into that. The important thing to realize is that in order to brake straight up and down that's fine you can set preload accordingly to that but if you break into the corner and you set preload too stiff then the bike will not turn and you will have to lean on the motorcycle so there are two techniques to set brake pre uh, brake dive for are you braking straight up and down and letting go of them or are you braking all the way into the corner set the tension on preload in regards to those techniques but as before please make sure your technique is consistent. If you have any questions, please send them to Facebook via Dave Moss Tuning. Thanks a lot.